In this demo video, we will briefly review some of the capabilities of DataWalk for advanced toll analysis. In this example, we are investigating a fictitious organized crime group where an informant has identified three leaders of the group. We'd like to understand who is connected with these three targets, and we've received toll data for three phone numbers associated with these individuals. We start here on the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which is a visual analytical structure to import, store, structure, and analyze toll data and other internal and external data sources. This environment was designed to handle billions of records providing high-performance CDR analytics. Each of these icons represents a data set derived from toll data in various formats and other sources such as BTS logs, and the lines indicate connections between those data sets. We receive toll data from AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, and of course sometimes these files have headers, and sometimes they don't. On the DataWalk Instant Analysis panel we've configured an easy button, and we start by searching for a person of interest named Brian Nichols. We check whether this toll file is already in the system, and from here we can easily add a new toll. We give this file a name, and then we save it. We specify we want to add an attachment, and we attach our toll file. DataWalk constantly checks for such files and then automatically imports the data. Using this process, we loaded the other two files. Note that the system automatically recognizes file format, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, we want to look at one of these origin phone numbers, and we take it to a link chart. And we then add the other target phones to our link chart. And we mark each of these key phones so that we can easily identify them. We're specifically interested in calls for July 19th, 2018, so we apply a filter for this. We could then easily visualize the flow of calls between these phones. In this case, we specify that we want to see the count of the number of times these individuals talked with each other, which is visualized by the thickness of the arrows. Note that if we wanted, we could instead do things like show the aggregate sum of the duration of calls between parties. So with this, we have our visualization showing how target phones connect with all other phones. There can be a lot going on with these types of charts, so if we want, we can easily declutter the view to focus on the phones and paths of interest. We want to first focus on paths between the phones of our three leaders, so we select those phones. We specify that we want to find paths where there are less than three hops between phones and that we don't want to see any other objects. And now we have a much cleaner view. As DataWalk can serve as an analytics repository for any other data you have, you can connect any of these phones with data from your other systems. So to these phones, we can specify that we want to see which phones we already have information about. And we see that we already have data about several phones with information about the associated individuals. For those phones that are new to us, we can use external subscription sources to see what we can find about those numbers. In this case, we'll make a call to the Wooster service about this phone number, and we see the associated information available for this person, which we've anonymized. Now we add this individual into DataWalk so that it's available for further future analysis. So at this point, we've identified new individuals who may be go-betweens in the communications between targets, or who may otherwise be playing an important role in this criminal network. We can search for this individual in the DataWalk system, and instantly we see that we have information about this new person unrelated with this specific phone number. We can easily replace him on the link chart and add his other phones and calls for our date of interest. And we see that Mark Johnson called Alicia Jackson several times, closing a ring. We can visualize this pattern on a panel which will show us time sequences when calls were made. Marking all phone calls, we can visualize those on the Universe Viewer. Then we can go to the Toll Calls dataset and the Toll Files to see the original Toll Files for evidentiary purposes. So even if the targets claim they've never communicated, we have proof of their indirect communications and we could take further investigative steps such as getting tolls for those new phones or requesting wiretaps or cell tower data.